watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. I'm Big Lou and this is what I've got going on for you. I'm going to show you how I make some chili dogs on my Southwest disc. Now, I'm not making this chili from scratch. I do have good recipes for chili from scratch. I make a great chili from scratch, but it's a Monday night. Got to work tomorrow. Got off work today. Just making some chili dogs for dinner tonight. Um, thought about making some burgers, but you can see it's overcast behind me. It's mid-March, but a little cold front's coming through. It's going to get a little frigid all the way down to 54 degrees tonight, and it's drizzling a little bit now. I'm going to do this under my patio so we'll stay out of the rain. I'm going to cook this in my Southwest disc, my discata, my plow disc cooker with some handles welded on by the folks at Southwest disc, and uh, it makes like a, like a, they call it a cowboy wok. It's kind of like a wok shaped thing but i can do like people do on flat top griddles a lot of stir fry type stuff and uh stuff like that but i got a dome cover for it and it's gonna make some chili and i'm gonna make some chili dogs now because it's a weeknight i'm not making chili from scratch like i said i've got some good uh, chili from scratch videos uh, in fact the third fourth and fifth video was my chili from scratch it took that long to do it back in those days youtube videos could only be about 10 minutes long anyway uh, Dr. Doyle, you know, Dr. Doyle, I like using her seasons. She sent me some of this um, barbecue uh, Texas hot dog seasoning. What this is is a chili mix. You mix one ounce of this stuff. All right, I got eight ounces here. You mix one ounce of this stuff with one pound of brown ground meat and six ounces of water, and you pretty much got a great chili. Now, if you wanted to put beans in it because you're not from Texas or not near Texas like I am, I don't know why you'd want to put beans in chili. You got a good hot dog sauce, as some people call it. You won't put beans in it, you got a good chili. Just about everything you need for chilies in here. However, I'm going to doctor up, doctor doors. I don't need to, but I've got three uh, tomatoes, almost fresh tomatoes that need to be used. I've got a small onion that needs to be used. So I'm chopping up a small onion and putting that in there. And as long as I'm doing that, I got four uh, guajillo chilies. I got a bunch of guajillo chilies. I want to use some of them. Uh, so I chopped up four of them, mostly de-seeded them, put some uh, warm water in there. So the 15 ounces of water I'm going to need for this two and a half pounds of ground meat um, is soaking up my guajillo chilies. And I'll put all that in there. And I've got some Nathan hot dogs. So let's get to cooking on the Southwest disc. All right, I've just cleaned the disc. That's what you see, all that water over there. What I do is I put some water in it and I... Uh, Take a paper towel and I move the water around and then I just splash it out. That's why I like having one without sides. Anyway, I just got the disc all cleaned up. It was clean last time I used it, but I keep it outside. So I wash it off before I use it. All right. Anyway, got some uh, Nathan uh, bundling hot dogs here. You use whatever brand you want. I've got no grease in here. Nothing. It's just a dry, scottle, cowboy wok, plow this cooker, biscotta. Whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to sizzle those around for a minute. Just like this. And kind of brown them up. Now what I do is I just kind of push them up and let them roll back down. Not quite as good as those hot dog rollers at the truck stops, you know, at the Pilot and the Loves and the TA and all that stuff. But those things, but um, anyway, I just kind of roll them around and they're gonna get a little browned here. I'm not gonna cook them all the way, you know, uh, cause we're gonna stick them back in the chili, but I do want to get a little uh, browning on the skin there. All right, these have started to plump up a little bit, started to brown up a little bit. And I just kind of, you know, I'd let them sit there and then roll them around, whatever, kind of like I'm doing now. And I've done that for the last several minutes. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just take uh, four of them and I'm gonna push them up right like that and I'm gonna put these four up just like this here by the handle. All right, and if I put them up vertically like this, they're less likely to slide back down to where I'm cooking down here in the center of this thing. All right, now, uh, I don't need to doctor up Dr. Doors, but I'm going to, all right? I've got some tomatoes, uh, there's three tomatoes that I really need to use and um, a small onion and they were fresh, but they weren't gonna be fresh much longer, so they gotta get used. So, I'm gonna brown these up right here, just like this. Like I said, I've got no other oil in here except what was in that hot dog pack. And um, I'm not gonna add any salt or anything to these because even though onions will season better with salt, because Dr. Gore has that um, chili mix seasoned up pretty darn well. All right. And I'm just gonna keep browning these uh, 
onions and tomatoes up before we put the ground meat in. All right, my little tomato onion sofrito here is starting to um, look pretty good. Now, I got this disc back in June. Uh, it was a Father's Day gift to myself, and um, I have used it a lot. I don't know if you've seen me use it in very many videos, but I really like using it. It's about replace the gas, used gas grill I bought last summer. Um, I just you cook burgers and all kinds of things on here. And I got a really good coat of seasoning. I probably would not have done um, fresh tomatoes in it when I first got it. It does come seasoned, but I probably wouldn't have done fresh tomatoes in it till I've got this good dark seasoned coat on there. Anyway, that sofrito is about ready because this is a carbon steel um, plow disc. You know, y'all stay up there. Stay up there where you belong. Ooh, those are hot, man. Stay up there where you belong. All right, so I'll pull this out. That's what wants to slide back in there too, but I need to grab, do up this ground beef. So, come on up here. Come on up here. Now see if I had a flat top griddle, it'd just stay where I put it, right? Yeah, well, anyway. Let's go ahead and get the ground beef in there. Right there. Right there. This is, um, I don't know uh, what the percentage of fat ratio is. I bought this at my local butcher. I guess I'll have to ask him. I think he told me once. It's not 80-20. It's a lot leaner than 80-20. Might be 90-10 or something. Um, I don't know if it's that lean, though. Maybe it's 85-15. That's probably about right. So, let's get this meat ground up. Um, Browned up rather, not ground up. It's already ground up, right? You know what I'm about to do here. It was frozen, it's defrosted, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it broken up and browned up. All right, I'm browning this meat up and it's getting good and brown. And I'm uh, keeping the tomatoes, sofrito, and onion sofrito a little bit out of the way. I moved the hot dogs off to my table over here because they were done as far as I wanted them to and just keep them out of the way. I'm gonna just go ahead and put the lid on. Now the lid is clean underneath. The lid, since it stays outside, looks a little rough, but uh, the top of it looks a little rough, but the inside is certainly clean underneath. And I did try to clean it. That's why it's wet right there. But anyway, it's clean underneath there. So we're gonna let that uh, heat up and help brown that meat some. All right, I believe this ground meat to be uh, browned up. And yes, it is browning quite nicely. All right, but it does have a lot of grease there that I don't want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the meat up to the side and out of the center. And all that grease is gonna fall down in the bottom. So this must be 85-15, not 90-10. There's a bit of a grease on it. All right, I'm pushing all this meat up here like that. Push my little sofrito over this way. Like I said, I don't want all that grease in my chili. So just put it up there. The ground meat will continue to drain. And now this is, sometimes some of these discs have lips on them. I think Southwest even makes one with it. Uh, there's some commercial brands. I mentioned it, Fire Disc, you know, it has a lip on theirs. They used to, not, look at that boil like that, wow. All right, got some of that, uh, so I'm just gonna just take it and just scoop it out into this bowl right here. You see what I'm doing? Careful not to burn my hands, but I wanna get all the meat drippings out of the center. All right, so I've continued to do this. Maybe if I had a bigger or maybe a, um, Silicone spatula are going a little easier. Now, nah, it stands without reason. My viewers are smart. Obviously, I'm throwing hot grease toward my bare hand here. Be real careful. Don't burn yourself. Use some common sense. Stay sober while you do this. Whatever you got to do, but don't burn yourself. I didn't burn myself, and I expect you not to burn yourself. You're smart. You're intelligent. You know how to uh, be careful. All right, not be say, oh, you're dangerous, Big Lou. You don't tell people to do this or that. I figure y'all know what, y'all got common sense. Look at all that that I drained out of there, all right? Just like that, because I don't have a lip on the um, plow disc. I don't really want one. Now, put all this meat back in the center. It's all been brown. The grease has been drained off. Throw my sofrito in there. Start mixing this up. Get down there, get down there, get down there. I like to talk to my food so it do what I want it to do, you know? All right. Now you don't have to doctor this Dr. Door stuff up. You really don't. 
But uh, I wanted to, I had the tomatoes, I had the onions, and so I want to doctor it up to go with these chili dogs. I could just put the onions on top of the chili dogs uh, fresh and raw, but I wanted to go ahead and put it in here in case we just wanted to eat maybe some chili with some uh, Fritos or something, you know? All right, now, to this, I'm gonna add, now these are four Guayo chilies that I cut up and I put in some, uh, I heated some water up in my uh, coffee kettle that I make my French breads coffee with and poured that boiling water onto there. And it's also my 15 ounces of water that I'm gonna add to this thing. And now I'm gonna add in the Dr. Doors um, seasoning, one ounce per pound. I got two and a half pounds of ground meat. So that's, um, two and a half ounces of the Dr. Doors Texas hot dog seasoning. And I'm just gonna stir this around and get it all mixed up. And we're almost done. I am gonna let it stew for a little bit, but uh, we are almost done. All right. Just like this. If I need more liquid, I've got a bottle of water over here, but I'll add back some of those drippings, okay? All right, now, if I was doing this in a pot, I'd go ahead and cover it. I'm doing this here, so I'm gonna put the lid on it in just a moment. But, what it's time to do now, throw back in our hot dog weenies, all right? Our Frank Furters, all right? Our wieners, whatever you wanna call them, all right? Hot dog sausages, get them all mixed in there, all right? Without breaking them, don't break them. Just mix them in there with the chili sauce, okay? Now. Turn my fire down to a simmer. Maybe you can hear it get a little quiet. And we let that simmer. All right, this has been going about uh, 20 minutes, maybe. And I did stir it at the halfway mark and I'm about to stir it again. What I did, I took those drippings. Now there is some grease still floating on top there, but I spooned off maybe 10 to a dozen uh, large spoonfuls of grease off the top. What's remaining is all that stuff from the onions and tomatoes that juice there. And there's gonna be a little more grease with this, but that's okay, it'll still have much less grease than a uh, canned chili would, all right? And you can see there is some juice there now forming, but um, it looks like Yep, that's what you thought it was. I just knocked the lid right off the table. Dead nabbit. Oh well, I'll wipe it down and put it back on here. All right, let me stir this up. I don't think I need this. Now, I really don't. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of that in there. A little bit of grease and a little bit of juice in there, but not all of it. Mix that up. Because it needs to get a little bit wetter, you know? But uh, we're just about done here. Just about done. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over there and um, wipe the rim of that off with a paper towel. And I'm gonna set it back on here for a few more minutes. All right, I did wipe the rim of it off. It's not dented or anything, even though it hit the concrete, landed on the concrete just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off and I'm gonna go get a plate and fix up a chili dog for you. All right, look at that right there. Whoo, it's gonna be good. Uh, I gotta admit, I've already tasted it. The chili sauce, just a little bite, chunk about like that. And it is good, y'all, it is really good. Uh, I like the Dr. Door stuff. Sometimes I don't doctor it at all. Just let Dr. Door do his magic. But the pound of ground meat, an ounce of that stuff, and six ounces of water. This was two and a half pounds of ground meat. And what we're gonna do, I got some of those uh, Wonder Bread buns, all right? And uh, just put the hot dog in there like that. Spoon some of that chili on there, get into that one too. Look at that, y'all, look at how good that's gonna be. Yes, indeed, get up in there. Got some Fritos, there was a great Frito chart shortage this past fall, but you can get Fritos again. All right, and then I got some of this uh, cheese. You can just buy it in a bag already shredded. Uh, of course, it's better when you shred it yourself, but like I said, this is a weeknight meal, and um, that's pretty darn good right there, y'all. All right, anyway, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue, Chili Dogs in a Southwest Disc, and uh, you can use whatever mix you like, but I'm telling you that Dr. Door stuff is pretty darn good.